Okay, it is, I think, the 29th of January, the 22nd day of the challenge I am doing, which is low histamine carnivore. Okay, low histamine carnivore. Trying to lower my histamines, trying to fix my inside out so that I can start losing weight, feel great, and maybe be able to eat some of the foods I used to eat without histamine reactions, right? If you go watch the first well, up until 2022, when I got the Delta version, because I had already gotten the 19th version and stuff, but up until that point, I was losing weight, feeling great, eating anything I could on keto, right? I was eating the black olives, I was eating pickles, I was eating lettuce, I was eating tomatoes, I was eating tomato sauce, I was eating bell peppers, I was eating all those things, and I was fine, I was fine. And then that just destroyed me, destroyed me. And I just cannot get back to being fine. And I've gotten it multiple times. Um, so I was bored. I don't know if y'all can see, I put a little tint in my hair, some pink, um, just a little. And I only put on the ponytail part, really not the rest of my hair because I only wear my, did I just step on a cat's toe? I did. Are you okay, Freya? I only put it. I have too many cats. Fred, are you okay? Did mommy step on your toe? Um, I wear my home, hair in a ponytail 24-7 and I did not want this part to be pink. I wanted it just to stay the colors it was. So it's just a little light tint. I put diffuser in it. Um, it's way pinker than the video is showing though. Um, plus I only left it on for 15 minutes so I didn't think it was going to catch as much as it did and there are some areas that it really caught in. Um, but I still like it. It's fine. It's fine. It washes out fast in my hair anyways. It's just Arctic pots. Um, so I've eaten today. I will show you that in a minute. Um, I'll go ahead and show you all that and then we'll come right back. Okay, random times of the day. I am making some bacon for breakfast. So, let's see what we got. Ninety-nine. So all I've had is coffee, and I got really hungry, so I have to work on that coffee. Usually, I also had an ibuprofen, and my blood sugar seems to go up with ibuprofen. Does anyone else have that issue? And I'm talking about like 800 milligrams ibuprofen. Um, I my sinuses have cleared up, but the sinus pain has been excruciating for two weeks now. Okay, 0 0.5 ketones. All right, it's 11. I am having me 10 pieces of bacon. And if I end up being still hungry, we're gonna come back in and make some eggs. Okay, so this morning I put um, only half a tablespoon of butter in my coffee and skipped the skinny syrups. And my blood sugar was like 99 um, hours later. And I'm starving. So I had the bacon and I am, it's an hour later. I am so hungry. So I'm having some pecan. Of course, it's one without fat because I was worried I'm eating too much fat. So I was taking out my coffee um, for weight loss, right? Because I still have the mindset right now of fat mates me fat because that's how it's always been when I do keto. The more fat I intake, the less weight I lose. I'm um, always had to stay between 45 and 65, so this whole new way is weird to me. Um, and I am so hungry I could scream. Like, so hungry. And that happened with the London Brawl, too. And I know I'm going to need to switch to chicken soon. Um for money wise for one thing and I'm wondering is this going to happen every time I eat chicken because that's more protein than fat and I don't like it cooked in any way that would add fat except wrapping it with bacon I don't know bacon has a lot of fat but I'm starving y'all like so hungry so I'm I'm in there cooking some pecania yeah. all right so it is now 12 30 and I'm having some pecania and water all right so I didn't really finish the plate of pecania. I had a piece left and gave it to the cats. I lost my appetite. Y'all, 
I know I was hungry, really hungry this morning, is I made my picanha last night and this makes me want to cry, cry because it's so expensive. And Dino needed me for some things and then I forgot and I put my food in the microwave so the cats won't eat it. And I didn't eat it. I never went back to it. I never remembered that I didn't eat it or anything. Um, and this is the fourth time it's happened this week, except it was with other things. Um, like it was the things y'all saw, like a London boy I didn't eat all of it. One mill of picanha I didn't eat all of it because I get interrupted while I'm eating. Sometimes I wonder if that's what gets me in my stomach ache. I can't just eat in peace. The cats always need something. He's always tattling on the cats for me to come do something. Or he needs something and I have to stop eating. Um, because with my thing, if you tell me, Hey, when you're done with that, can you do this, 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 or that? Um, yeah, I can't enjoy my food if I know I have a list of things I have to go do immediately when I'm done eating. So I always go put my food away, do those things, and usually used to come back and eat my food. But I guess I wasn't hungry enough to remember I didn't eat my food, right? I don't eat like a few bites, and that's it. <sighs> it's so irritating that I forget. I'm going to have to start telling Alexa to remind me. Of course I wouldn't have been able to eat it because it would have been considered leftovers because it would have been so long after I had cooked it. Um, but y'all, y'all, I don't want to. One thing is ever since the C word, the Delta one, I hate the taste of chicken with a passion. And I've never been able to eat chicken skin. I'm not even going to try. And I've never liked it. Um, but I hate the taste of chicken. <gasps> but I have to do it soon. I have to. I have to try soon. It's just so much cheaper. I can get it for $2 a pound. And yeah, that's so much cheaper. I need cheaper. Um, I didn't realize how much of this would cost because Dina likes to mimic what I'm eating. So buying both of us that, it's just like he eats other foods too though. But buying both of us that is just too much too much for my budget um so and he eats chicken so he'll eat chicken if i'm eating chicken so so yeah and he eats way more than me like like he ate that whole almost three pounds sirloin yesterday and i don't even eat a pound in a day um so it's it chicken's cheaper and of course i can't eat steak and then say he can't have steak that's wrong um it's just, I eat very little bit. Uh, so, we're going to have to try it soon. Going to have to try it soon. We're on day 22. I'm trying to stick it out for 30 days. Um, I'm not trying it. Just eating late this morning. I did the bacon. Um, I was wrong when I told y'all 10 slices. I think I told you it was actually 12 slices. Um, almost the whole pound. Um... Probably when I eat more of it today, it would be the whole pound. I am going to try, like, some days just bacon and eggs and see, because that's super cheap for me. A pound of bacon is three forty, dollars um, So that's, like, super cheap, too. Um, but I don't want to just be eating bacon either. Uh, but so far, so far, my stomach it seems pretty well in control. Um, the histamine, low histamine diet is really working. Um or dirty carnivore, whatever you want to call it, because I have my stevia and skinny syrup and one of my coffees. Well, the stevia, the stevia I'm having is in the perfect keto collagen that I have. Okay. It has stevia in it. So that's what I count. Um, and I hate stevia with a passion, with a passion. I love those stevia drinks. It don't taste like stevia to me. At least most of them don't. Well, the grape doesn't. Um, however, which I'm not drinking. Remember, not, I haven't had them. Um, however, I hate it in the collagen, which means I have to have the skinny syrup to delete that taste. And um, the skinny syrup is way more healthier. Healthier. I didn't say healthy. I said healthier. Then, um, sweet and low. And yes, I've tried allulose before because allulose is healthy. I've tried the allulose monk fruit blend. Um, but right now I just don't like that. I don't like it. But I'm hoping in the future that's what I 
will like. I do like my little monk fruit vanilla drops. They're just insane. They're like 20, they're out of stock. And if you can find them right now, they're like $20 a bottle. Um, so yeah, but, um, this is my hair and I probably got to get back to doing some work as it's, it's nice on the porch. Off the porch, it feels like it's freezing. On the porch, it's in the 60s. But out there with the wind blowing, and it's not actually 60s, it's just because the sun's warming it up. Yes, boy. Oh, he always knows when I turn the camera on him. He runs. Cry, baby. Cry, baby. What are you doing? Come here. Want to come here? This is their paper. This is their paper. Okay, y'all. They're addicted to it. Cry, baby. Lick fingers. What are you looking at? I'm going to go mess with Sharky then. You don't want mommy's attention. Mommy will get this monster. What is this monster doing? Hi, Sharky. What are you doing? Are you having fun? Are you having fun in the sun? Oh, <gasps> You are. Aww. Let me go find all the other cats. Mommy don't know where y'all all are. Oh, there's Bear. When I said I needed to go find them, I really meant where was my little scaredy cat. She's so a scaredy cat. I think Freya is down here because she's the one that's tall I stepped on. Yep. Hi, Freya. Freya. Hey, Matt, Mommy. Freya. What are you doing? Hi, baby. Who else is down there? Is that Piper? Or Willow? <gasps> Just Willow. Hi, Willow. They love it out here. Oh, there is my Piper. Piper. Piper, say hi to Mommy. Piper, say hi, Mommy. You're not going to talk? You're not going to talk for reals? You normally talk. No? No. Still missing kitties. Little girl, why are you always hiding? My little pee pee monster, why are you always hiding? The sun is really making this blink. Wanna say hi? See, I'm cute even though I pee on stuff. See, mommy's always having to clean up after me. All right, Thumper. What you doing? What you doing? You're always posing for mommy's camera. Okay, so I'm getting a new modem. A router. Sorry, new router. Unfortunately, it will not give me any higher internet speed for uploads at all. Not at all. Like, still gonna have a one or two. Um, this morning I saw my dad's in them because they were sleeping and got the video up in 35 minutes. Miracle. They don't usually have that high either. Um, but also shorting my videos have made a difference. Now, well, look, you can really see it now. Now, what it does mean is I will be able to watch Wendy and Harry without hearing, uh, 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 and without, I hear everything she says way before I see it. And y'all, that's why I haven't been watching anyone else. I can't, it drives me insane, especially YouTube. Like, cause it drives me insane. I mostly watch DVDs. So... I deal with it because I want to see Wendy and Harry's the most. Sorry, everyone else, but I can't help it. But, um, but yeah, so I will finally be able to watch theirs and everyone else's again. Right, because I, I do watch theirs. It's just all cut up. Like, it's really funny. I also need a new TV because my TV, the one, no matter how many times I undo the app, like, uninstall and reinstall, it won't play YouTube anymore. It's like, it just won't do it. That or I'll get a Roku, which I really hate. 
I don't know. I like Roku TVs and stuff, but... Oh, no. Uh-oh, cat ran away. Okay, let me concentrate. Good evening. Welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I use a ketogenic journey to lose over 200 pounds. If you're new to my channel, my highest weight was 434. Highest weight starting keto. This is Sharky, by the way. He came to disturb me. The highest weight, no, don't push it over. The highest weight starting keto was 368. Um, the lowest I got to 157 point something and got the C1 multiple times. Also did not know, did not know as of January 2022 that uh, it caused me to have an issue. It caused mass activation syndrome and high, high histamines along with POTS. It has taken diving into all my medical records, talking to my doctor, going to multiple doctors who said there's something desperately wrong with you, but we don't know what it is, to finally, after getting extremely sick um, with the flu and getting sinus infection, two ear infections, two eye infections that I've never gotten in my life, um, and oh, whoa, and... Yeah, I told you he's being bad and could not, um, even on doxycycline for weeks, I was sick from November 20th until into January, um, to find out, of course I wasn't going to heal. Of course everything was going to go wrong because my body was reacting insanely 24 seven. And no, no, the histamine issue is not because of these fur babies. I have eight of them if you're new and I am not allergic to cats. I used to be. Before keto, I used to be allergic to cats. They would give me asthma attacks so bad. <laughs> I don't get asthma. Sharky, what are you doing? I don't get asthma attacks from them. I don't show up in the allergy test of any kind being allergic to cats anymore, whether it's the skin, whether it's the blood. I am not allergic to my fur babies. Um, they did not cause me a histamine issue at all. Now their hair itches my face a lot just because this little hair is going everywhere. So if you see me do this a lot and stuff, I'm not itching. It's, I have some makeup on today um, or I normally have a lot of lotion on and their hair just sticks to me and I'm constantly like wiping it off. Off I noticed in my videos, Sharky, step it. Um, unfortunately, the only tripod that they haven't broken is the one here on my counter, which he thinks belongs to him. So he thinks... He has the right to knock it off. Okay? All right. So, if you are new, we are using a carnivore-type diet to do a low histamine diet to clear all the histamine and clear up my gut. Because, think of volcano, think of vinegar, baking soda. What happened? That is what my heartburn was doing out my nose, my mouth, and everything for months and months. Over and over again, I kept going off keto, gained 90-something pounds, almost 100 pounds back, Actually, I was two pounds away from gaining 100 pounds back um, from having to be off keto. I am severely insulin resistant. I have polycystic ovary syndrome, fibromyalgia, um, high blood pressure. I have a lot of crap wrong with me. And there are a lot of doctors. Um, well, not a lot. But there is a group of doctors who's been studying muscular activation syndrome and studying histamines and some of those issues could all be because of that. Your body going completely insane, including weight gain. Including weight gain. So, we are going to heal all that. That is the goal, to heal it all. All right, I've already healed a lot of hormone issues, like insanely. Um, if you haven't seen them, um, they're, I didn't even label the videos. I think week two I talk about it in the week two video. Um, we've already done... Three weeks now, I think. Are we at three weeks yet? Yeah, we just passed three weeks and I forgot to do a week three video. So we'll just go over it real fast since I didn't do a week three video. I have first week, the swollenness went away. I looked nine plus months pregnant, big giant swollen belly, which I was too embarrassed to show. Big, huge, huge swollen belly. Um, really bad that even three eyes closed were not fitting over that swollenness okay it was swollen and but it was baggy everywhere else just my belly all right 
Uh, so that went away in week one. Also, I was able to get off Sweet and Low that I've been on since I was a baby in week one. Okay. Week two, um, that's when I think towards the end I went off heavy cream. Um, so I was able to get off that. We also learned ground beef does not work for me. That's just way too many histamines. Um, so we don't do that. So the playlist I have under this, all these videos, I have to go put the beginning ones in there. It also is going to have doctors and other people talking about histamine things. I don't agree with all of it, but I can understand where they're coming from because they don't agree on doing an elimination diet, especially when eating beef, because they've had clients who actually are allergic to beef and it releases to me histamine, so it didn't really work for them. However, even though as a child I was allergic to beef um, of any kind, it doesn't seem as long as it's halfway good quality, like I'm able to eat Lidl's um, Lender Roll with no problem, I'm able to eat uh, Bacania with no problem, I'm able to eat fresh raised eggs with no problem, fresh mozzarella, no issues. So I believe that 90% of the world has not got beef allergies or more, more like 99%. Uh, so I think it's a good starting point. Um, because you're not going to find doctors that know anything about mast cell activation syndrome, really. You're not going to find doctors who um, know much about histamine, including your allergist, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Your allergist thinks of, oh, you're allergic to avocados. Your throat's going to swell shut because that's my, I have an allergy like that. However, all these other allergies that causes histamine reactions are so low it doesn't matter. But if you have a histamine body, meaning my histamine is always insanely high, whether I'm eating histamine foods or not, and my white blood cells are through the roof and they've been that way since I was a baby, like insanely through the roof, something's wrong. Your body is overreacting and we're trying to make it react normal, right? Because the environment's making it overreact. When there's rainstorms, if you're allergic to moles and stuff, it's overreacting. Um, in the winter, it's dark, gloomy, and it releases other things other than molds that make it react. So, basically, the people I put in the list um, so far, they just talk about how your doctors don't understand and you get misdiagnosed with all these other things when really your anxiety, your POTS, your high blood pressure, your polycystic ovary syndrome, like all of this is because your body's overreacting. So, these are symptoms of mast cell for some people, not everyone, but when you have all these things, which I have, okay, it's a symptom. So mast cell can cause severe, severe pain in your body too, anxiety, sleep disorders, so many friggin' things come to find out. And what do they do when they cannot figure out why you have massive, horrible pain? You have fibromyalgia. I've been told since I was 17, you have severe fibromyalgia. And I have, what I call seasonal, where it's worse, right? Especially in the winter, right? It's worse. Why? Why would it be worse during those months? Why is my pain so much worse? Why am I so much sicker? Well, anyone with a histamine issue, if they're allergic to the molds and the things that happen in the dark and cold, and if people only have severe issues during the spring, the pollen and all of that and the flowers, Maybe they're right, and maybe we'll be, the fibromyalgia is a symptom of mast cell. Like, I've done tons of research. This is a rabbit hole I am diving in because it's like keto. No one ever talked about it. No one barely knew about it. You heard about the Atkins diet that was supposedly dangerous and blah, blah, blah. And now there's so much information. Well, this is one of those things. Most doctors don't know what to do about it. Don't even know what it is. So we are just going through on my channel and we're doing what we can to heal my body. Okay? Whether you agree with what I'm doing or not, it is what is best for me. Simple. Now I am starving. I am so friggin' hungry and it is 124. When you are new, to a high fat protein type diet, like high fat and then your protein's right there and you're not eating any carbs. It can happen in a few days or it could be a few weeks later. Your body starts readjusting. 
Um, and it's happened in the last four or five days now. Where, when I eat, I better not be going anywhere for five plus hours because I'm going to run to the bathroom a lot. A lot. A lot. Like, and do not trust. Oh, it's just gas. No, don't trust that. No, no, no. And, and, and just, yeah. Now, some people never get this, but everyone I've talked to does get it. I've done a high-fat diet before multiple times when I did high-fat keto or I just did a bunch of wings for months. And it normally lasts for me three to six weeks. It usually starts sooner than week three, um, but it just started this week, the last three or four days now. So that's why I'm not eating, even though I'm starving, because I have to go out today. And the more I'm going to be on all day, too. Um... So, I'm going to have two days of pain because I get hungry, hungry, like once a day, but it is hungry, hungry. It's like that stomach pains, my stomach's growling, it's hard to think of anything else. And yes, I am having my coffee with a tablespoon of butter. Tomorrow I'm going to up it to two tablespoons of butter. Um, and that does not make me run to the bathroom, okay? It is not like MCT oil where I drink it and I'm in trouble. It doesn't affect me. I can have it and not have to go to the bathroom. But there is a nothing I can cook. Like right now, because I'm doing the beef, the butter, eggs. None of those will stay in me. I can tell you that right now. It might not come out in the first 15 minutes. It might be an hour later. It might be two hours later. But I've discovered it's within the, within the five hour window. And I ain't going nowhere because I don't have time to find a toilet. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. It might be too much information, but this is stuff people do not warn you about when you start stuff like this. Dr. Barry does. He has a video called My Poop or something, and he talks about it all over the place, even that you barely go and it's totally different, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can hear Dino probably shaking his head back there. I can hear it. Okay, so, but if you're new, um, we do, I did do cooking videos, but that's, it's boring right now. Um, there's no color to my plate. There's no pretty leg. Let's put this in. Let's put that in. No, it is simple. It is simple. It is literally farm eggs. It is just beef. Normally like a London roll or a picanha. Um, it is an air fryer because grills actually release more histamine. And it's probably why I get severe shooting heartburn if I eat grilled food. Um, especially beef. Now, I did not finish my list, did I? So my hormones fixed right away too. Um, because I have polycystic ovary, hair grows in places we don't want it. And I would have to shave multiple times on my poor baby face. Now I can go two days almost. That changed immediately. All right, my breakouts. This is just a scar from my last breakout and it is gone because no more breakout. Um, no more depression. Like I was like, Hopeless. What's the point of life? It's just chores. There's no fun. There's no energy. I'm in pain. I feel sick. Very, very deep depression. Really bad. Um, it is. It went away like the first week. Um, so bloating went away. Depression. We know I was in the 255s at the first of the year and I had gotten down somewhere in the 230s and threw the scale out the door because I'm the person that if I don't see results on the scale I will change my menu my eating completely but this needs time to heal from the inside out and I don't trust myself so no more scale um I know they're gonna weigh me tomorrow at the doctor's office and I know I'm not gonna get away with not hearing and talking about it so it is what it is. I don't have a choice. Um, so, what else? My sleep. My circadian ribbon. I didn't go to sleep until 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning. Dino still goes to sleep at those times. Um, and then wake up like at 2. Right? Uh, no. No, my sleep just magically changed. Right? So, I fall asleep anywhere between 10.30 and midnight. And I'm up anywhere between 7 and or six and nine. So some days I only need five hours of sleep and I am wide open, can't sleep anymore. And then other days I need my full eight hours, right? But anything past eight hours, I get very draggy. I get horrible headaches. Um, so I have to, but my sleep fixed itself. 
there has been other things and I just don't remember them all right now, right? My blood sugars, 99.9% .9 of the time, they're in the 80s, lower 80s, middle 80s. Um, I've had one 99 so far, um, and that's the morning I did not put a bunch of butter in my coffee, and I woke up hungry that morning, I woke up with a really, really, really bad headache that morning, and I took an ibuprofen, um, and ibuprofen, I've been taking ibuprofen every day, but usually when I have a headache like that, my blood sugar is always high, because it was a really bad one that day. Um, I suffer from migraines, they are getting more and more minimum. But, oh, like I said, cat hair. They are getting more and more minimum, but I am still having to take ibuprofen every morning. Um, but I don't have to take it multiple times a day. I was having to take it every six hours until I would go to sleep. Um, and I'm down to one a day. So that is a huge, huge difference. And they are 800 milligrams, if you were wondering. So it's pretty simple, like I said. Um, and I'm also, this is my baby. This is my favorite. I'm on my second bottle. Um, so I'm going to have to order me some. It is, it's not focusing. It's Chef Blend. I think it's backwards. I can never remember if this is recording backwards or not, and I don't know how to fix that. I'm going to have to figure it out. Anyways, it's Redmond's Real Salt. It's just smoked salt, right? And it's the Chef Blend. It is my favorite. And that's all I'm using. All right. Over time, we're going to start adding some stuff in. Like, I might go buy some chicken, some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Why? When you're carnivore, you should be eating that dark chicken, right, with the skin. However, I can't. I have never, ever, ever, because see, I am allergic to chicken as well. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, but we're going to see if I can tolerate it being from Fresh Farm instead of a store. Now, I've been able to tolerate um, all these quite a bit. Um, it's just the last time I had to buy not the organic one and I could not tolerate it. Um, so I don't do well with chicken skin at all. Never have. I can't process it. It causes severe heartburn. Um, in the future I might try it again because maybe it was just all the other crap, right? Um, inside me and now it's not. But so we're just going what I can eat. I've never been able to eat dark meat. Um, I've. Most of my life never was able to eat ground beef, but it was um, from a grocery store, so I thought it would be a difference getting it fresh. Um, but I would lay on the floor crying as a child. I've had scans. I've had to drink that nasty stuff. I had ulcers when I was a child. Um, I've had stomach issues my whole life, and I've had severe histamine levels and white blood cell counts my whole life. All of it's been horrible. My whole life, as a baby, as a baby, getting taken to the hospital because of my stomach issues and no one being able to find out why. I mean, I've had multiple doctors say it's because of your allergies, um, but they didn't explain that we could fix it, right? They said, don't stop eating the stuff or you'll become more allergic, which that happened with peanuts. Um, but we can fix it. And not with medication, okay? Not with medication. <sighs> but anyways, so I've had this my whole life, and now we are trying to really dive in. This is what happened when I was so sick, so desperately ill, that I started going through my records. And I started reading that even as a child, because I have my original faded out yellow, but I can still read them, allergy tests from when I was five years old, Okay. I am 45 years old. It is 40 years old. I'm very careful with it. Um, but I have all my old stuff. And all of them, every single one, including when I was a baby in the hospital, in a little breathing tent, all say the same thing. Extremely high histamine levels for no apparent reason. And they just assume it's because I'm allergic to the environment. Um, but funny thing is, they don't show up on the test. Um, also extremely high white blood cells. That runs in my family. My mom has it, my daughter has it, but I have the worst. I mean, mine is double the amount it's supposed to be all the time. So my body thinks it's sick all the time. My body is fighting all the time. Also, I've learned that mast cell can cause anxiety, um, causes depression, it causes all kind of mental health issues. It causes 
um, high cholesterol. And that is another thing. I'm not waking up at 3 a.m. anymore. I would wake up between 2 and 3.30 a.m. Or be awake during those hours. And I'm hot, insanely hot. My face is extremely red. I'm itching. But that's because I had a high cortisol. Cortisol? I never say the word right. Level inside my body. Um, which is the stress hormone, the flight or fight hormone, and it would be horrible, and it would last until about 5 a.m. That's not happening. It's not happening. It's not waking me up, if it is. Uh, and so, I'm not seeing that anymore either. But we have a long road to recovery, as I'm calling it. Recovering from carbs, because they scared me so many times that I was going to die of esophagus cancer because of the GERD. The heartburn was so bad. Like, it's not like, oh, I eat this, I have a little indigestion. No. <laughs> so, it was so bad they terrified me to go off keto multiple times. Multiple times. And all I did was make all my other conditions so much worse. And that's why I was like, we're going to find... We are going to find a cure that does not involve making all my other conditions worse, right? Because it's not a cure eating the potato, literally plain potato and crackers and bread to soak up all that crazy amount of acid. And guess what? It still came back in the end. Came back in the end. I just had to keep eating more and more of it. And then it just came back in the end and more and more. And then it would come back a few hours later, more and more. Y'all, you do not want to know how many boxes of crackers I went through between October and friggin' January. Like January 1st or 2nd. It was insane. I should have took out stock in it. Like, it was insane. Trying to control it. I was constantly downing crackers. And I have a wheat intolerance. I was always allergic since a child to wheat. Um, so... Was it really helping? Probably not. It's probably why it kept coming back after I would eat it. It would fill my stomach enough to stop the acid, and then it would start all over because I just ate the bad wheat. So, also remember, none of our plant-based foods are what our grandparents ate. None. It, or our great-great-great ancestors, Okay. Avocados don't even look correctly. None of the fruits do. Okay. A lot of them didn't exist because they've been created. All right. Let's let that sink in. Also let it sink in that we are being told now that a homegrown vegetable garden leaves too big of a footprint and is bad on the environment. But the big giant huge corporations, especially the ones from other countries, that fly our food in and then ship it to your store with the big trucks and then and then you go there with your car and then you come home with your car. That's better on the environment. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Just like cow gas is not killing the environment. Give me a break flying that food to you instead of you growing a garden is so much worse. I know, I know someone's going to yell at this video, but I don't care. I don't care if this video gets demonetized because I'm sick of the stupid, stupid statements. That was just way too, way too far. Way too far controlling, brainwashing. That was insane. Okay, insane. And you can go look it up for yourself. That is the most insane statement I've ever heard them make. Ever. Okay. Especially since in my garden, I don't use chemicals. Okay. I use natural stuff. I use copper. Like, I use... I don't use bug sprays. If the bug eats my plant, oh well. Because I don't use chemicals. Anything that got on my skin or if I breathed it, if that's harmful, I don't use it. Other than my spray paint, yes, I know that's bad. Um, but for my garden, I do not. Okay, it is an organic garden. But yes, 
that's supposedly bad for the environment. It's dirt. I'm not taking plants away that bees would alight. The bees love my frigging vegetable gardens, right? Um, I'm not destroying local wildlife doing it because it's clay area, right? There's nothing there already. I have built boxes. So for them to say, <laughs> I bet I just shut up. I'm going to shut up because there are so many things right now that I could talk about. That is just so controlling. So, so overstepping. So insane. And that statement, if anyone believes that, I'm sorry. You really have been brainwashed. If you believe that corporate... GMO, friggin' made bigger food, contaminated ground that has signs don't walk in because it's dangerous after they spray it. Um, flying through the air, going in trucks, putting tons of diesel fuel, plane jet fuel, all of that garbage into our air and environment is better for our world than just going out your door, walking over there, Growing your garden, walking back into your house, walking out there to go get it instead of going to the grocery store, but then didn't take any fuel. I, I just can't. Those people are definitely brainwashed and I'm so sorry and I hope you get deprogrammed. I really do. Because that is the most dumbest. Okay, I'm gonna shut up because I am just so floored. I have heard so many scientists this week um, on both sides, I have heard so many things, and I'm just like, what the heck? Especially with all the bombing going on, right? Like, you're talking about me growing a little garden here when y'all are sending boom booms all over the place, up into the air, and who knows what toxins from those very old buildings you're allowing. What? What? No, no. Anyways, I'm going to shut up and let y'all see some of my kitties because that's a better topic, right? It, it's more enjoyable than the craziness. All right, so I went and got me some picanha. I said I wasn't. I literally said that I was just going to get some chicken because it's cheaper and um, they didn't have any out. So they could have went and got me some, but... um. I thought it was fade that I should just stay on the beef, butter, bacon, egg thing um, going on here at least for 30 days before I try chicken. That's why I decided. It's fade. Even if it costs me more. Yes, I have linen roll at home, but <clears throat> I don't like it as much at all because I have to cook it so long. Um... So yeah, so I'm waiting for my daughter. I'm about to go in there and get her probably because I got to pee again. I am peeing like crazy today, y'all, like insane. Um, but I'm going to have to try putting this on the tripod so I can show you. So this came in. is lip oil from e.l.f. Um, oh, this is, they're calling it Glow Reviber Lip Oil something something. I forgot what shade this one's in. But why well, doesn't it say the shade? Maybe it doesn't. I'm just blind. <laughs> Don't see the shade listed. Anyways, they're selling it um, on TikTok. I don't buy from TikTok, at least not yet. My daughter has. Um, so I just bought it at Walmart. Same price. Same price, and I just get it immediately. So I'm wearing it now, but it run. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see if I can see. Hold on. All right, so here's the issue with it. One, do y'all remember the 90s when we used to wear the lip gloss from like Wet n Wild? It was gooky and it got on everything. Okay, that's what's happening. I don't wear lipstick. Everyone always asks what kind of lipstick I'm wearing. I don't. I wear LA Girl or Color, whatever it's called. I think it's Girl. I wear their lip liner, the blush one. Okay, that's what I wear. That's my lipstick, y'all. I won't put anything over it or under it. That's what I normally wear. But I was like, let's try something new, right? Because that's always a matte finish. Um, all right, 
no smell, no taste really. I can taste something, but over winter is just no taste. But it comes off. It comes off and it smears. See, it smears. Like it doesn't stay. And it feels like I have 90s wet and wild lip gloss on. Literally. And that was eight dollars, which I guess is cheap compared to big name brand lip rolls. Um, but I rather put twenty more dollars and get um, the Surge moisturizer for lips from Kanique. That's what I use every night when I go to bed. Um, I wear that to bed. I wake up in the morning and I put the lip liner thing on. Um, I have a clear one coming to put over my lip liner, um, but yeah, I think I'll like the clear one because if it does smear, it's not going to smear color and I ain't going to put color on everything. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's so gross. You see? You see? See? It's on the inside too, like in and out because of the type of thing. Oh, not a fan. Not a fan. Let me go get my kid. Okay, so we're gonna cut some Macanya real fast. Like super duper fast. Cause I'm hungry. Um, they were closing. So there was no cutting it. But I knew that because I knew they were gonna be closing soon. And on top of it, um, he was like, tell me what you want and I'll have it cut for you tomorrow. But I am so packed the next two days. I don't know when I would be able to go get it. So, I went ahead and bought two. This is the smaller one. This one's about, I'm saying, a pound and a half, maybe? Yep, one and a half pounds, exactly. So, when you don't get it cut there, this is the fat you're going to end up with. The thick fat. See, maybe it's easier to cut it like this. Ooh, not my stove. Shit. Whoops, bad language. And that's say I'm starving. I've been hungry all day. <gasps> oh, they. And I was so good not to get a coffee while I was out. Because I had my three coffees this morning and I was like, that is all I'm having. And I am way too hungry to sit here and try to cut it really, really thin. I could. I really could. But I would need the other knife. And I would need to not record because I would end up cutting myself, not paying attention. Okay, let's see. All right. What for me? mommy fed you. Okay, so I am hungry. So I'm just going to fill this up. Because this pound and a half is going to die. Like shrink down drastically because you see that fat? That fat is probably the half a pound. And it shrinks drastically. So we're going to see how much will fit because I'm hungry and I will eat it all. Yeah. I am missing rare meat so much that I'm literally having to remind myself, do not eat this. Meaning don't pick it up and put it in my mouth and start eating it. All right. <sighs> I'm trying not to overdo it, right? Okay. We'll leave this for tomorrow, or if I'm still hungry, I can make it later. 
Gotta wash my hands so I can get to my seasoning. Which is just smoked salt shuffling. My favorite, my favorite. My favorite. Okay, so I need them to make me a, a lighter blue, a little lighter blue, like, like this color blue um, t shirt. And say Redmond's Real Salt Chef Blend is my love. Like, or something like, yeah, I need a shirt. I need a shirt. Seriously. Don't get me wrong, they're all good, but I'll die on the hill that the Chef Blend is the best. Oh, good great. My cat's going crazy. Alright, 400, and we just cook until whenever. So, I'm going to cook until the fast crispy, but because it's thicker, it won't. the rest of the meat won't be crispy. That is perfectly fine. I'm in the mood not for crispy right now anyways. Now I gotta go see what my cat was doing because that was loud. Alright, this is the only place I have a tripod, so I'm trying not to let the food get near it. Um, I do not suggest doing it this way, but that's what I got right now. Um, random, random. I, my coffee was a long time ago. I haven't eaten food today. Um, now I notice when I fast back in the day, like when I did keto and I fast, like long hours of fasting, um, my bl blood sugar was usually high, um, but it's 77, so that's a good number. Sorry about the fan, but my thing will set my fire alarms off. It does put out a lot of smoke. Okay, let's turn these lights off for a second. There we go. So it's 77. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Do you see that crap? Do you see? What? What? 1.1? What? 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 Okay, if you've been watching, you know I cannot ever, even on keto, I can't really get over a 0 0.4. 0 0.4. What? What? Oh my gosh, this means I'm in ketosis. Like, legit ketosis. I'm going to see what the GKI is. This video is long, long enough, so I can't talk very long. I'll show you my food. I'll just show you now, because I'm planning on eating it all, but y'all, y'all, yeah. 1.1, 77 blood sugar. That's moderate ketosis. I just looked at GKI. No matter what that said, I was in ketosis. So when your blood sugars are under in the 80s and you get a 0.5, like 0 0.5, you're in ketosis, okay? No matter what the GKI tells you, that's a stupid little thing, in my opinion. Um, That's my opinion. Don't come at me if you have a different one. But y'all, y'all, I'm in moderate ketosis. I'm not low, not border, moderate, okay? Which is, you know in between high and low. I'm excited. Y'all, I'm excited. Especially since I starved all day. Like, I am hungry. Seriously hungry. So, I deserve that number. <laughs> I deserve that number. Alright, it's not done cooking yet, but I want to go ahead and make my video for the night because it's already over 45 minutes, like 50 something minutes long, and I don't like it that long, but that's just how it is when I mix two days. Actually, I think that might be good enough for tonight. And yes, I plan on eating it all because I'm starving. Bear, 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 it's just a phone, honey, it's just a phone, want to say hi, no, Freya, are oh, you sleeping, is it nap time at the zoo, is it nap time, yes, his favorite house is the gingerbread house, it belongs to him, no one else can use it, he gets mad, Pepper, are you sharpening your nails? We're going to attack? What are you going to attack? Mama's got to brush y'all's thing again. I swear I brush it every day. It's insane. Shrinky, what are you doing? Shrinky. Shrinky. 
Oh my gosh, I wish I could play the dog for y'all, but it seems a song someone's watching me, so I can't play it. Oh, they love that stupid thing. 